wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. Can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. No sense in taking the entire thing. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. I don't want to be cut. It's nothing interesting. I can't... I can't just cart around any... Comfy enough to sleep on. Shutters down. Shutters down. <sighs> Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Okay. I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... A painting of a train. Is it this one? Looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. It's nothing interesting. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Locked. Isn't this the way it Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, so she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. 
Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Huge black hold all. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red, teardrop shaped gem set into the top. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? <laughs> Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well, give the boy time. Hey. Someone of your fellow passengers popped their head at the room at the end of the corridor. 
maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... Well, this was the right room. Hello? A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. It's nothing interesting. More large. More. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Something doesn't... I want... <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... I'm sure she won't miss just one. She be nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? Shuttered and sealed. Uh, better not. It might belong to someone. A handy hip flask. The initials... Nicely stocked, just the way I like it. They've got a pretty good range, considering this is a train. He doesn't look too happy. I wouldn't either if none of my dinner guests had shown up. Kind of a creepy fellow, and coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But, uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Huh. It's empty. 
flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. I don't think so. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Not really something. Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang, let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure. As always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. I don't think. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Hmm. Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum. Okay. If you... All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. No, thank you. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <coughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met, I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You are, after all, blind drunk. I don't think I should go back in. You're lonely. Is that it? Yeah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other... I can't just go grab... I think Floyd was right. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... 
<laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. It's firmly attached, but... Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? He's playing with the dog. I don't think so. But it's empty. That's no good, son. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatising it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you lie. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassell? Can't say I've heard of him. He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. Now that will be just the ticket. <laughs> Get it? Hope Don likes it as much as I did. Well, why not? The key to 2A. And uh, no, he might want... <laughs> huh, guess he won't be wanting the novel after all. Not really.
another large bag. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around her house. What is it about these pictures? More photos of that. My God! They're Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I. <laughs> if I shut off the lamp, then the room will be pitch black, and I shouldn't have any need. I don't want to be in the dark. My God! Not really. I want to have a look inside. This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh God. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh God, get me out of this place. What have I done? It's locked. A control panel of some sort. It's... I can't even look at it. Let rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? I think I'm going to be sick. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Destroy. There's a bag. Oh, God. It's slumped against the door. Floyd? Don? Oh, my God. There's a bad. The Shuttered and sealed. I can't do this anymore. It 
it's moving. A toy train stuck in the dirt. This wasn't in the box before. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. There's a thin crack. Not really. Not. The Not really. The Charnel House Burial by Louis. C Panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. The train's picking up speed. I need the light, no matter how erratic. The flame seems to be burning slightly green. It's dancing wildly. I'll just... No. No! Dear God, what is this? against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. I can't breathe. There's no air. Please.